Hello, I'm Entrilisim and welcome to Raw 4X. We are in the complicated space game with all the things and we have just started building our very first freighters which should be able to start taking infrastructure and people over. Well, not people actually, we need to build a special ship for that uh, over to the new colonies. So first of all, I just want to send some infrastructure over. So we'll just skip forwards until those are done. Uh, 5,000 tons capacity added to Wormtail construction on Earth. Sweet. And we've finished our research into terraforming rate. So let's have a quick look at our shipyards. Wormtail is up to 15,000 for military. I'm going to add another 5,000 to that because we won't be building in military for a little while longer. Uh, the Bracknell Exile. Definitely want you to expand to get to 100,000 tons. Villa Sempre is busy building stuff. That's fine. Industry, you're all busy. Research. Terraforming rate. 10,000 is a bit out of my league right now. Genome sequence research. Ooh, we can create species. Basically, we can create like humans that can live on different environments. You don't have to terraform. You can actually just genetically engineer humans to live in different places. Ah, uh, right. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I think... Ooh, it might be time to start playing catch up, but I think what I'm going to do is just go for a Saurium Harvester so we can actually start thinking about having uh, fuel tanks that just go out to, I think it was Uranus that had a lot of fuel, and just go and grab Saurium from the upper atmosphere. Just fly through, scoop it up, and uh, refine it on board. So we'll grab you, 30%, all 15 labs, just mainline that. You should get that done pretty quick. Yeah, about six months' time. Oop, everyone's got changed over. Breton Exile is now bigger. I'm going to leave it as it is. I don't want to change it yet. Um, civil Administrator has forced to retire. Uh, medical condition. Uh, rock Mage is only... Ah, there we go. So it's saying that the Rock Mage has run out of fuel. Or is running out of fuel. It has 17.6% of its maximum fuel remaining. It's pretty far away. It should be able to get back. They've got a crazy amount of fuel on board. So let's see if it starts turning around. There we go. 70% of its fuel. 13%. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Completed research into Sorum Harvester. Excellent. Um, ooh. I think what we might do is we might just bite the bullet and start doing research into uh, improved research rate. It's only 5,000 actually. Oh, sorry, no, that's shipbuilding rate. Research rate, it's 10,000, yeah. I think it's probably worth it, but it's gonna take a little while. But let's speed up our research from here on. So that's gonna take uh, just over a year, which is fine. Tupi has only got so much of its maximum fuel. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Aha! People have been assigned to the Lucia Wind, and the Badger class is built. The Lucia Wind is built. Excellent. Great. That means we can go to the fleet menu. And we should see we have the Badger and the Lucia Wind, which we can just hit uh, split task group. That was the wrong one. Uh, I want to delete the task group. Ah! Wrong one. Can I just delete task group? Delete task group. There we go. I would like divide task group. That's the one. So we've got the Badger and the Lucia Wind. Sweet. Right, so I'm going to leave this over here and I want to pull up uh, Earth's summary. Right, how much do we have? How much industry do we have? So we're still constructing factories, mines, automated mines, fuel refineries, etc. Infrastructure. We have 500 infrastructure just sitting here not being used. I would like to ship out probably about um, 400 to Mars, 100 to Io, maybe 300. No, call it 400, 100. Why not? Yeah, we'll do 400, 100 for now. So task group order... The Badger, I would like you to, at Earth, uh, load 
infrastructure. Add move. Then I would like you to go to Mars. Unload infrastructure. Then I'd like you to go back to Earth and refuel. Then if we want to do this, say, for 400 infrastructure, we want to repeat this 399 times. Maybe that's a bit much. Why don't we just do it 299 times? Repeat. Bam. There we go. That is what that number of load, unload, refuel, load, unload, refuel looks like. Excellent. Uh, let us grab the Lucia Wind. I would like you to load infrastructure at Earth. I would like you to go to IO. Unload infrastructure. Then I'd like to go to Earth and I'd like you to refuel the colony. And I'd like you to repeat that only 99 times. So we should have 100 infrastructure left over because that'll be 300, 100, 100 spare so we can put it on the moon or something just to decide what to do with it later on. And close that, close that. If we turn auto turns off for the moment and we center on Earth. Three hours. And you see they're still reloading, so, well, loading for the first time. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 5 minutes, and there. They've now got their orders. So if we go 5 minutes more, you see they're heading off. Not quite to the moon in 5 minutes, but still a respectable speed. So if we start going auto turn, 20 minutes. You see they're starting on their journey. Of course, getting to Mars is a lot quicker than getting all the way out to Jupiter. Uh, so let's start going with one hour, eight hour, now the Patupi's complaining about fuel. You'll be fine, you'll get back in time. Ooh, Patupi's not able to set all five of its special survey orders, they're not enough acceptable targets. Have we finally researched all of the asteroids in the solar system? Uh, I would like to look at the Patupi. Yeah, it's only got four on its list. So there's only a few places left to research, and then... And then it's done. So in fact, uh, once Patupi is done... Uh, Patupi, 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 there we go. And you've done all of those four, I would like you to Earth and refuel from Colony. And then just basically hang out at Earth. Oh, oh, oh! The Bates Freight Limited has launched a new Bates H2 class fuel harvester. In fact, they've launched three by the look of it. Uh, so, this is a civilian shipping company. They have then gone and just gone, yeah, okay, so this space thing, uh, yeah, we could do this. We can be the Elon Musk of space. Why not? They've set up fuel harvesters because we've researched the technology and they get access to our research because private companies um they've just gone right well you know we can do this maybe there's a there's a market for fuel let's just check is there a market for fuel yeah, i've got a fair amount of reserves i think we're okay but they will now be able to produce fuel and we can be like okay cool uh, i would like you to oh, where is it civilian industry we can be like, right, I, I want you to get me, like, fuel and stuff, or I would like to... I think you can subsidize industry somehow. I'm trying to think how you do that. I can't remember. You can basically ask industry to do stuff for you. Um, I'm trying to see if you can find out. This is all the stuff that's being traded. But there is a way to look at the different shipping lines. I just can't remember where it is for the life of me. Here we go, known civilian construction. So we can see that they've got harvesters. Just can't remember exactly how to see the different uh, companies that are operating. But oh well, it doesn't matter for us for now. We're not that interested in what they're doing. They're getting fuel. Cool, I've got plenty of fuel. And they're of course going to Uranus because it's really good for fuel. Which is fair enough. I have research tech. I don't intend to use it just yet. We have got quite a lot of fuel. It was more sort of a for the future. The Badger has failed to load infrastructure at Earth.
Why would that be? Okay, why would that be? Infrastructure. Current infrastructure zero. Oh. Three hundred eighty. Hundred ten. Yeah, we've used up all the infrastructure. Each cargo hold can hold ten infrastructure, and we loaded it full of infrastructure. I guess. I think maybe that must be it. That's fine. Currently, uh, population support of infrastructure. We can take uh, point two million currently on Io and Mars. We can take one point nine. That's nowhere near enough. We need to create several thousand more infrastructure. So that's what we're going to be doing pretty soon, actually. Let's have a quick look at what we're currently building. Um, we're a few years down the line. So I'd like to modify your percentage. Just skim some percentage in a number of places. So I'm going to modify that to 15. Fuel refineries, I'll modify that to 2. Mines, I'd like to modify that to 15 as well. Construction factory. Let's modify your percentage to about 30. No, 25. We've got 43 left. I would like infrastructure. I would like to create several thousand. Let's go with 5,000. And I would like to use 43% of my infrastructure to do it. Let's modify this again. I actually probably want this to be more like 10,000. That's more like it. That's going to take six years to do that. So I'm just going to give it um, 30 days to actually get some of that built. Now the Rock Mage is having problems. And we've completed our research. Okay, Rock Mage. Um, yep, you've done your four survey, or you've got four surveys left, and then you'll be out of a job. So I want you to refuel at Colony. And then you'll be able to sit there for the rest of your days. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you can refit and stuff, but I'm not exactly sure if you can really change your vessels up all that much once we've researched all this. We might use them to take a geological survey team around the solar system. That's something we could do. Uh, right. Research. Construction production. Um, shipyard operations. Time and saving cost. Yeah, let's do that. And let's start splitting people up. So let's get three there. And I basically put three like in each category effectively. Just find something I want to do. We've got no one specializing in biogenetics, which is annoying. Um, we've already got someone doing a task in here. Defensive systems. Sure, we need to research uranium armor. We seriously got no one in defensive systems as well? Wow. I mean, we've got the important ones, which is power and propulsion and construction, but still, really? Okay, um, logistics and ground combat, 25. You can do it then. It won't take you long. It's only 500. Um, logistics, yeah, let's do a logistics one. Engineering section, maybe. Conservation reduction costs, costs a lot. Let's have it for something a little bit smaller. Improved cargo handling systems, improved command and control, maintenance module. Yeah, let's get a maintenance module going on. We'll probably want one of those. Uh, a ship component that is added to the total maintenance facilities of a population if the is on the same planet or near an orbit. Uh, no, nah, actually, I don't really want that. So useful if you're actually in orbit. Ship ship tractor beam. Transport bay. Oh, let's just get a very large fuel storage. Let's be really boring. And let's use three people for that. Energy weapons. Got a 20% person here. And we're going to go with lasers. Now, lasers are a very middle-of-the-road weapon in this game. They are medium range, medium effectiveness, medium etc. They're, they're not anything particularly fancy. What The only thing they do that's fancy is they're really penetrative, so they cut through armor pretty nicely. But they also don't do a lot of wide damage. They take out one thing at a time. Uh, power and propulsion, we probably want to start researching... Yeah, let's get that on. Two labs. Start working our way towards iron drives. And sensors and fire control. 
beam fire control range. Let's crack that out as well. Actually, let's get one person doing each. That way you can get a bit of training. Uh, I would like you to have fire control speed rating. So we're actually going to start on some of the defensive technologies. Because people will, before long, when we set these colonies properly on Mars, etc. They'll probably want us to actually, you know, start thinking about um, having them defended. Because otherwise they'll start complaining. How are we doing in terms of uh, infrastructure? Another 30 days. Research bonus increase, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we could probably start looking at shipping that industry back over again. Infrastructure. How much infrastructure we got? 290. Yeah. So I would like the Badger Earth Load Infrastructure. Mars Unload Infrastructure. Earth Fuel. Something about fuel. With fuel. There we go. Repeat that. If you're doing it 10 times each, which is what I suspect you're doing, probably 49 times. And for the Lucia Wind. Oh, you're still doing that job. Hmm. Can I click at the bottom and just go remove, 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 remove? Nah. Because it takes so long to update, I'm probably just going to leave it doing it and let it then run out of infrastructure. Okay. Well, yeah, you do your job. Oh, everyone got changed over. Tupi is unable to settle fight with special survey orders. There's not enough acceptable blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's bring up Tupi. Special orders, new. No. I'm afraid you have no more orders, Patupi. You did a great job. Uh, soon we'll actually have you taking a geo survey team around. In fact, we could probably do the geo survey team about now. So to do that, you have to set up teams. Ugh. Teams, great. Um, might just leave that for next episode, though. Just because I'll need to just double check what the actual rules are about teams. Because I can't remember exactly how many people you need in a team. I think it's five. But I'll have to double check that one. Uh, but yeah. Basically, GeoServer teams will be able to go out and they will do surveys. And then can improve the knowledge of materials. Or they can find new materials on planets. Uh, you can only do one GeoSurvey per planet. We've already done one on Earth because, hey, we're pretty good at looking at Earth. We've been doing it for a very, very long period of time. Ooh, shipping line info. That's the one I wanted. Bates Freight Limited. Number ship three. Total tonnage. So they've got 33,000 tons each. Uh, last year income, etc. Current wealth, share price. And you can subsidize them. Make them like better. Uh, make them want to do it more. Make them basically able to carry out your orders. And basically allow them to take off and expand quicker. I'm not going to bother subsidizing them right now. If they built like a luxury line, I would be interested. It's because I haven't researched it, is it? No, I've, I think you've got Luxury Line already researched. Um, because they there's two different ways you can ship people. You can ship them like flat pack sardines in cryostasis, which is like, you know, cryogenics. That's effectively what the technology is. You are shipping people in like tiny little, like canning carbonite, right? Or you can ship them on a cruise liner where they have butlers and waiters and cleaners. And they can drink food and... Eat champagne. Yeah, okay, obviously um, you don't drink food and eat champagne, although maybe in space you do. Uh, basically, it's a luxury cruise. It takes a lot less people, but they also get there in style, and they will pay money for it. And you tend to find a lot of uh, shipping lines like to do that. So instead of actually like taking people over to Mars ourselves, we could just be like, hi, we'd like you to do this for us. And in fact, I can set this up right now, although I'm not sure if anyone take it up because no one's got ships for it, but we could be like, there is a... Installation type, blah, blah, blah. Um, contract amount, add contract. Civilian colonization status. As a population greater than 25 minutes, this is normally a source of civilian colonists. I don't think I actually have to set them a task to take people. I think they just do it automatically. Yeah, I can tell them to take, like, uh, installations, but they'll automatically take people. 
Okay, so they should automatically take people to our colonies, although we might just want to kickstart that by uh, getting a colony ship. Um, something that we could probably do. Probably won't do that fairly fast, actually. We might wait until we've got a bit more infrastructure set up. It's debatable. Where's Haley's Comet right now? Uh, let's just go forward to five seconds to get rid of all that on screen. Haley's Comet, where are you? Still going out system. Comet path. How far do you go out to? Oh, you're at your zenith. Okay, so Haley's Comet should be coming back in in the next 10 years, and then we'll start mine Haley's Comet. Um, we could do it right now, but it's a, it's a long way to go. I mean, we, it takes long enough for us just to get to uh, Jupiter, which is here. I don't really want to be transferring stuff all the way to past Neptune's orbit. Sweet. Now, let's just check before we end the episode how much we're up to on infrastructure. There we go. We can support 2.6 million people. We can support a tenth of that on our Well... So yeah, I think it's time we started uh, looking at colonizing them by sending people. So that's what we're going to do. Next episode, we are going to send people. And we'll maybe even make a few more cargo ships. Because right now I'm thinking that we could ship stuff faster. Although we might want to ship stuff to like asteroids just with some automated mines going on there. I mean, the automated mine production. How many automated mines do we have now? Uh, mines, automated mines. We've got 29. Which isn't great, but it's, it's enough. Uh, mass drives, we've got our five mass drives already. And we are pushing ahead with these, so it's going to take a little while. But yeah, for now, I've been Eric If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Next time, we're going to start shipping people over. We're actually going to build a colony ship. And we'll, uh, we'll start dumping flat pack sardine people on Mars. I don't know how we choose who we're taking. Probably, like, draw straws. If you get the short straw, you're off to Mars. To get the even short story after IO. Enjoy. But until next time, stay shiny.